I killed the giant when I was ten. And then I climbed right into bed with his wife. Suckled me at her teeth. <laughs> Game of Thrones Season 8 Episode 3 has really upset a lot of people. I get how stupid writing decisions that screw something you've been interested in a long time can be super annoying. Trust me, I'll be complaining about Last Jedi for the rest of my life. So I think Season 8 started pretty good. Some good exchanges. A bit of humour. The big woman's still here. Some nice meaningful scenes. And at least one stupid scene. We've both known what it means to lead people who aren't inclined to accept a woman's rule. And we've both done a damn good job of it. What, sorry? When has it been a problem to have women in control in this story? You have a show full of strong women that everyone loves, but hey, let's have a Me Too moment because, you know, Hollywood, it was all looking pretty good. Well, except for this guy. This character is shit. Life is boring. Boring, in a time of fighting for every meal, the chance of being killed every day, the living dead, dragons, fucking gangbangs, this guy has the luxury to be bored. So anyway, besides him, it was all looking pretty good. Then we get to episode three, the battle we have been waiting eight seasons for. Everyone is pumped. Then what happened? What's the problem? Well, let's take a look at a few things and see if they could have been improved. The battle was head scratching from the beginning. A lot of people have mentioned how stupid it was sending the Dothraki straight into slaughtered. I agree, but visually I like the scene. I thought seeing the flaming swords all going out was a good way to show the terror in the dark. And fuck me was it dark. But just like so many other franchises we've seen lately, the cool visual overrides a good setup. The Dothrakia warriors. How easy would it have been to set up a situation where they lose their shit and decide that they are not going to wait any longer and go charging in. They could have just thought the dragon lady was in danger, or one of them had been captured, or just simply they wanted to go out as warriors and give more time to the others to prepare. Just making it their decision to charge would have given them some honour instead of looking like they were being sacrificed by some racists. This way we keep the cool disappearing flame scene but without the stupid setup. What happened to Ghost? I seem to say this every time he makes a brief appearance. And for that matter, why is Ghost in the show? Dire wolves seem really cool but this show doesn't know what to do with them. Ghost seems to come and go as much as a ghost. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm out. The trebuchets. Really? Couldn't have fired them a little earlier. You really do hate the Dothraki. Racist pricks. We all agree dragons are cool. Well, obviously, unless they talk. Death. Why didn't the dragons go in first and light them up? I know they want to draw out the Night King, but why? Has he ever really hid in the past? And if so, so what? Why not burn up his army before he even gets there? How would that be a problem? So he doesn't come out and his army's gone. Then hunt him down. These riders are hacks. Oh, for Christ's sake, dragon, use your fire. The darkness. Now that's your fault. No, it is. The cinematographer told me. It reminds me of how bad Solo a Star Wars story looked. Horrible and flat lighting. I don't know if it's the budget, time or lack of skill, but with film they respected the limitations and became masters of light. Now in the digital age they've become lazy betting on the high dynamic range of these digital cameras to get them out of trouble. Not a rim light to be seen. Where the fuck are they? Awesome. This bit is awesome. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. The big kill. Now I love Arya. I think she's had one of the best character arcs of any story. She has the right to kill anyone, but to just jump out of nowhere and not let Jon at least face the Night King was such a letdown. Why couldn't Jon be at least distracting the Night King enough to let Arya make the kill? Why not let her do her cool face swap trick? Leave one wolf alive and the sheep are never safe. Again, the riders using a quick lazy shortcut and it's not as if they didn't have the time for, oh God, I think it's probably three years now or something, we've known that it was gonna be Arya who delivers that, that fatal blow. Three fucking years and we get her just jumping out of nowhere and John's screaming at certain death. And no, he's not screaming, go to Arya. 
I like that Arya killed the Night King, but the setup of it sucked balls. And not normal ones, big giants balls. So who is left? Well, luckily, nearly everyone. And we had a fucking World War Z situation going on. Cross that film shit. It was bad enough that our heroes virtually all survived the onslaught. Really? He's going to get out of that? But up to now, I'd mostly enjoyed the episode. Hadn't had time to process it. And the person I watched it with is a big Arya fan and she was loving every minute of it. But then we get the scene in the crypt that shows the survivors. It was like a fucking checklist of who had survived. Oh, good, good. Yep, you. Yep, check, check. Remember the Red Wedding? Of course you do. Greatest TV moment of all time. Well, we're not in that store anymore. For Christ's sake, kill some people. Couldn't have the Night King at least pushed Bran out of his chair. I would have liked that. So where to now? It's all feeling a bit flat. When you have an army, at least one dragon, and you've just defeated an evil god who can raise the dead, how bad can Cersei be? I hope I'm wrong. Come on, last three episodes. Kill some favourites. What if the Night King wasn't going to kill Bran? What if he was going to kneel before him? Oh!